don't know where the heck we are. We're in the middle of nowhere. This place is crazy. Well, maybe these people will know. Let me ask. Excuse me. Do you know uh, where the fossil dig place is? No? Well, geez, you don't need to be so rude about it. <laughs> the locals aren't very friendly. <laughs> no, they're not. I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look like an RV. <laughs> We're not in an RV. We're in a hotel! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kaylee's off this weekend and we wanted to take advantage. So for a couple weeks now, we've had this little trip planned. We've been thinking about doing this for a while, way since before we even came here. And I've been thinking about it since I was a kid. I think I saw this place on Travel Channel like that <laughs> way back. So what are we doing? We are digging for fossils. <laughs> yeah. So we're outside of Fossil Butte National Monument, and there are a couple private places in the area where you can dig for fossils and keep them. And we're not talking about like shells. We're talking about like real animals, like specifically water animals, but not so much Tyrannosaurus Rex, but yeah. We are pumped. Yeah, very excited. So we're, our appointment's at 8 a.m. tomorrow to start. We're doing it for four hours, so we'll give you more details then. See you tomorrow. morning we're in the parking lot we're early we're the first ones here so we figure we'll give you the deets of of this whole thing what we're at where we're at what we're doing why we chose it how it works yeah. we are at american fossil yeah which is in kemmerer wyoming uh it's not far from green river hence the name of what we're digging it's called the green river formation uh, apparently it's a lake bed from who knows how long ago. We'll find out all that stuff <laughs> when we go to Fossil Butte National Monument this afternoon. They advise you here to go to Fossil Butte first so you can identify your fossils better and have a better understanding of what you're doing. But we like to we like to do things <laughs> backwards, so um, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we paid eighty nine dollars a person for four hours which um, the the competitor next door, I believe they're competitors, they could be the same owner for all we know. That one is $75 for four hours. So it's a little cheaper. Every option is a little cheaper. But uh, the big difference with them is what they deem a rare fossil, you can't keep, they keep it. So, what you find out here is a lot of aquatic animals or animals that would live near water. Um, like you find a lot of fish, stingray. Um, I know that you can find like snakes, uh, horses, birds. Turtle, frog. Tur yeah. Um, but there's two common fish, nydia and a diplo something that you can find a lot of. Um, so if you find those at the other place you can keep them but pretty much all the rest you can't keep 
So it's like you could find something worth a million dollars and you gotta hand it over to them. Here they take... This place, you can keep anything you find up to $100,000 of value for one single piece. And then at that point, they only split it with you. Yeah. So they go 50-50. I assume they pay out to, they buy it from you, probably at much cheaper than they're gonna sell it for online. <laughs> but either way, it's still a cool idea. Um, so we figured it was worth the extra $15 to get, to know that we're gonna get to keep everything we find. Yeah. Um, you can do two hours, four hours, or the whole day, like you said. One hour even. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like 30 bucks for one hour. Um, so. We went with the four. I Kaylee was debating going for the all day. I felt like we would probably be exhausted by four hours. I didn't even know if four hours was too much because it is the high desert. We're at over 7,000 feet, probably much over because the town we were in was at like 7,500 feet and we went way up into the on this plateau. But hopefully we find some good stuff. Yay. There's only porta potties, so be prepared for that. We have a cooler with drinks, so we... Um... Yeah, the parking is, like, from the furthest point, I think we would be digging maybe 100 yards. I can see yeah. everything right here. So we're going to keep the cooler in the truck, and we can come back and get water and stuff as we need. The drive out here was pretty. It was secluded, and it was very bumpy at points. <laughs> yeah. uh, have good tires. <laughs> yeah. I assume if it were to rain, which we're in the desert, so it probably doesn't rain much, but if it were, it could be a pretty nasty drive in. But we'll show you how we got here now. Just passed over cattle guard number one. Three more to go. You excited? Yeah, I hope it's awesome. The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait. It's a little bumpy Take the next right to stay on Farmfield Road Just a little Just a little? <laughs> this has probably been the worst part, right? Yeah, for sure The last mile Holy cow Just the views of the landscape alone are amazing Yeah this is not a place you get a chance to go drive through the highways. Like this is definitely off the beaten path. Keep everything you find up to $100,000. If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. I broke on accident. Oh, you can see part of it in there. Yeah. That's too bad. There it is. Nothing. Poop. Yeah, little pieces of poop in there. Let's see this one. Yeah. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> no. It's, um, what's the word? Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Especially if you got a belly in the way. Once again, we're too fat. Damn, we're never going to find anything. No. <laughs> sure.
Oh, well, Doug's gonna find a big one in there. Huh? You're gonna find something big in that. I hope so. Nothing again. I mean, that's a full one. Oh, yeah. That one broke, but the other side of this one broke in half. Oh, so it's not married. But that's the bony side. That's so crazy. See? Yeah. Go set these. Oh no, they broke. Oh, go show them that, honey. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't look normal to me. something. Hey. Whew, it's hot. Yeah. We're like two and a half hours in. Getting some water. It's awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying it's easy. No. <laughs> Especially for, for me. I know being down on my hands and knees isn't easy. The rocks, it's not like you're tearing up things on top of a table. You're doing it on the ground. So it's kind of tough that way. But you can bring chairs and towels to yeah, sit on. Yeah, lay on the ground. Um, I think if you just want to come and experience it and get some fossils, two hours is good. Because we, yeah. we've got a ton of stuff on her. Yeah, we probably have, yeah. I don't know, 40. The beginning it was slow and I felt like we weren't getting anything, but we have, we have a lot. Yeah, you got to figure out the technique. Like... <clears throat> You definitely got to go slow and be gentle. Like you're hitting rocks, so it feels like you got to pound through it. Gentle. But as soon as you rush, you realize you break one fossil in half. Yeah. And it's really depressing because <laughs> you don't find them every time. So <laughs> one out of ten and then you break it. It's terrible. But bring water. Lots of water. Cold water. Hat. Sunscreen. Got to have a hat. Sunglasses. Gloves. Yeah, we brought gloves. We bought these. Worth it. You're going to get real dusty. Yeah, come just knowing you're going to be filthy. So and if you do, a, if you have a group, you can do a private dig like those people are doing. $500, up to 10 people. You get a tent, you can pull your car right up next to it, and you get personalized service. The owner is over there with them. Yeah. One of the owners. So, it's pretty awesome. We have... This, all my fears were were pointless. Like I thought it was kind of gonna be a carny thing, a bunch of kind of trashy people running this place, wanting tips. It's not the case, they're like scientists and it's amazing. <laughs> all right, we have two hours left, so still trying to look for a stingray or a three-toed sloth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know uh, how it goes. I think I got lucky. Fish? That's 
That's awesome. So we're getting out of here and uh, you'll see what happens the rest of the day. <laughs> Bye. Hey, so uh, we went to, we did the dig this morning. We were exhausted. We went back to the hotel, excited to go swimming and the pool was closed, of course. Yes. So then we were really tired. We were like, let's take a little nap. A little nap turned into a bigger nap. <laughs> and uh, we decided just to enjoy the afternoon, relax, and uh, go to Fossil Butte National Monument in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> All right, bye. Good morning. Good morning. So we're heading to Fossil Butte National Monument. It's about 15 minutes outside of town. Remember, you should be doing it before you do the, the digging so you have a clue what you're doing. And then you can identify your fish and sound like a smart person. Yeah, but not us. Not us. We'll look back at our fish one day and probably forget what we did. I was <laughs> kidding. Um, yeah, so we're heading there now, and we'll, we'll show you what it's about. Yeah. See you soon. Trying to get some of the dust off the windows. This place is super dusty. As always, the sun is directly in our face when we try to do this. Always. I like this sign. It's pretty cool. That's a big fish. I wish our fish we found were that big. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> All right, we're going in. And then. Hopefully the visitor center is open. Doug has to poop. As usual. <sighs> Bye. This place looks awesome. The building looks so, so cool. This is the visitor center, right? Yeah. Like this is like when you're a kid watching Discovery Channel and they're digging up dinosaurs and stuff. This is what it looked like. And we're here. It's awesome. But there's no dinosaurs here. No, not old enough. Yeah.
This place is awesome. There are so many different fossils. It's crazy. It's a little warm in here, though. There's plants and... Like the, everything from seeds to bugs to gigantic turtles. Look the size of that palm frog. Do you want to tell them why there's palm fronds in the middle of Wyoming? <laughs> Apparently at the time, this the temperature here would have been very similar to the Gulf of Mexico. So it would be like Florida is today. Just a big wetland with a giant lake. <laughs> it's pretty much what it's shown here in the painting. Yeah, looks, looks like Florida. All right, so the visitor center was awesome. A little smaller than I expected, but they have every fossil you could want to see from the area, which is cool. I think our favorite part is outside, and especially for Kaylee, because she's, I mean, I'm not a history teacher, but she's always asking about timelines of when things were around in the history of humankind. Like, I, I need to see it. Yeah. Like, I don't know the answer. And this is an awesome way to understand it. So, they have every major event in, like human, in world history on this timeline outside. It goes all the way from the parking lot to this point here. And right here in this span is Homo sapiens, which is humans. In this little three inches, that's the timeline of human history. And as you can see, it goes and goes and goes. And there's like a whole other side you can't even see. It's probably three, four hundred yards long of the history of Earth, and it's amazing. I mean, even dinosaurs were only in the last half of it. Yeah, and then just a teeny tiny little humans right there. <laughs> it's crazy how insignificant we are. It's pretty sweet. Okay, right over there were the humans. <laughs> hey, there were palm trees back here, 110 million years. Wow. It just keeps going. Yeah, we're still not even there yet. <laughs> All the way at the end of that walkway is where it starts. Your mom would be interested in this one. Her and Sarah visited there. Oh yeah. That's... Turtles? Like 215 million years ago. Huh. Not too long ago. Yeah, no big deal. Just a drop in the bucket. <laughs> Camera does it justice, but we're very vertical. Tires keep spinning. Trying to go up this scenic drive. <laughs> They didn't say four-wheel drive or anything, did it? No, but we, the truck has so little weight in the back, the tires spin, and it's a heavy truck, way heavier than a car, you know? Yeah, true. But it's still a lot. It's a little bumpy. <laughs> yeah. I killed a minivan. Minivan with a boat? Dang. All right, we'll show you what the top looks like.
up. We didn't go all the way, but still a beautiful view. Okay, so we didn't realize when we were coming in, we were passing these signs that were discussing a timeline. It's a continuation of the same timeline we showed you at the, at the visitor center. And it starts at the main entrance a half mile down the road. So there's signs placed down the road. I'll show you one in a second. It says that every nine inches is a million years in the history of time. And there are these signs like this one here. Oceans and the continental crust form 4.4 billion years ago. So <laughs> to give you an idea of the span of time, we go a half mile down the road and humans were this little bit. It's crazy. Yeah. It's I a cool idea. I think you should take the time to like read those signs. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. From the sign <laughs> and then finish the visitor sign. And the scenic drive was a uh, kind of intense uphill bumpy one way yeah it's i mean it is two way <laughs> yeah. but it should be one way it's very narrow we saw somebody pulling a trailer with four wheelers up there <laughs> um beautiful view at the top but i think that's about all that was up there so well there's four trails in the park i think they're probably most of them are off that road but they're like a range from a mile to two miles and we opted out of those today, but we'll <laughs> possi possibly be back in the future. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth a stop. It's not a very long stop, but it's still. All in all, it was a great weekend. I think in a perfect world, you would be off on like early on a Friday. You go to the visitor center for a couple hours in the afternoon. And then first thing in the morning, Saturday, you do your dig because you want to beat that midday heat. Mm -hmm. And the visitor center actually had a lot of information. I thought that they would act weird about not wanting people to go do private digs because it's taking fossils, but they encourage it, it seems like, and they give you lots of information if you want it. Yeah. So if you're ever in Wyoming, passing through or vacationing, just stop check it out get some fossils yeah and bring dinner because you can't get it in town <laughs> <laughs> there you go see you next week <laughs> bye guys